Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaker of the Stars, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I just stumbled over my username, but whatever. So today, we are doing another installment in the Knights of the Round Table series. Uh, we are doing Be Diver today. So if you don't know, on my channel, I've been doing a couple of series, no, a couple of fan arts in a series um, of the Knights of the Round Table in the Fate universe. So this pertaining to Fate Stay Night, Fate Grand Order, and anything in the fate slash um, universe. So, Camelot will be releasing probably in a couple of months, given that we are in the Go West Go campaign already for NA. Um, so, the next singularity would be Camelot. So, we'll be seeing a lot of the Knights of the Round Table there. So, I've been trying to do fan arts of them. And hopefully, I'll be able to finish the series just as Camelot is releasing. So let's hope for that. So I've already done Saber Artoria. I've done Mashukai Relight. Um, she's in the series because she is a Knight of the Round Table. But if you are purely North American version if you, and you haven't read like Mashu's um, Wikia profile, or if you've been trying to avoid spoilers for Mashu's servant identity, um, I will say that she is a part of the Knight of the Round Table. Uh, there are a lot of hints of that in the story already, but I won't say who her servant is, so let I'll let you wait until Camelot comes out. So Mashu's also there. After that, I did Gawain, which is the saber, the white saber from Fate Extra, and then I also did Lancelot, saber. Um, yeah, so that's the last one I did, so now I'm doing Bediver, which is gonna be like your main support story servant for Camelot. So in London, we have Morjed and Jekyll and stuff like that. For Camelot, we have Bediver. So next, I might either do Morjed maybe, or Tristan, and then Aggravain, I think is the one left. So I think that's, those are all the knights. Maybe I might do King Arthur. Um, the male version from Prototype 2. But let's see, did I miss anyone? Morjed, Betty, Arthur, Tristan, Agravain, Gawain, Lancelot. I think those are all the currently designed, um, what do you call them? <laughs> Knights. So I do want to complete the, the entire. No, I want to complete the round table that currently has designed. So. I'll either do Morjed or Tristan next. We'll see. So he had a lot of fun drawing Bediver. Um, his outfit is fairly simple. Uh, the only really tough part is his Ergat Lam, Ergat Lam arm. That's a tongue twister. Ergat Lam arm. Ergat, Ergat, <laughs> his silver arm. Whatever. <laughs> so I did enjoy doing it, but it was a challenge to try and get the scales and the proportion right. I think I did a bit a pretty good job compared to how I did Lancelot's because Lancelot I modified his armor a little bit because like his his shoulder pads were like huge. So for Betty I think I stuck quite closely to the design this time. I even referenced his sprite art from the game from Grand Order just to get how his shoes look like or how his um knee pads look like and all of that stuff. So today we are using the we're using two watercolors. We're using the Pima Confections Complexions palette and we're also using the Sakura Koi watercolors as usual. Now more about Betty. So we first see Betty in Fate State actually the Fate visual novel I think. But I think most of us first got exposed to Betty to the fate in the Fate Stay Night anime by Studio Dean. Now his design in the Fate Stay Night anime is a bit more masculine compared to the Fate Grand Order version, but I think even then a lot of us were confused whether or not Betty was male or female, given that Artoria was female and all of that. But in the Fate Stay Night uh, anime, he was tasked with returning the Excalibur Holy Sword to the Lady of the Lake, which he successfully did in the Fate Root. I'm not sure about the other roots. They didn't really elaborate much on that. I haven't played the game, by the way. I should. I really should. It's old, but I should play it. But 
that was Betty's role. He was the one who brought Artoria to her final resting place and all of that. But in Fate Grand Order, the story is the Bediver that didn't return. The Excalibur. So, yeah, that's pretty much his servant profile. Supposedly, he was pretty normal compared to the other knights. Um, but, because he is carrying Excalibur essentially in his arm. Or, that's how I understood it. Like, that's how I understood his servant profile. Excalibur is currently being carried in his, in his arm, which created the Ergot Lamb sword arm thing. Because of Merlin, I think. I should read his profile, but whatever. Other than that, he's a pretty cute, sweet character. I love Betty. Betty's the best. <laughs> best boy. Uh, what else? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. So, I don't think I, even, I mentioned that already. But he's your main servant for Camelot. Um, let's talk about the process, I guess. So, his sketching, thumbnailing face went through a couple of iterations. So I went through like three sketching faces before I got to this last pose. First, I just wanted him to be standing in a sort of static pose like with Lancelot's. But I felt it was a bit too static already and like all the art for it was like, starting to look similar. Like, Altori and Mashu's were pretty ambitious and cool looking. Lancelot was a little bit of a... It, it, it was a bit weak. So I wanted Betty to look a bit more active and in action. But the background still kind of resembled Lancelot. Like, I didn't really do that intentionally. But I did that because I wanted it to look like his arm was shining. But oh well. I guess I'll just do better with Mordred. <laughs> but I really do like the pose that I came out with Betty's. Uh, it's very dynamic. Well, it's not dynamic, but there's a lot more motion in it than the past drawings. So, yeah, I, I like how it turned out. <laughs> Another challenge, especially the coloring face, was doing his shining arm. So I knew that to make it look like it's shining, I should use some amount of blue. But I was a bit scared that it might look too blue, that it wouldn't look like it's shining anymore. So I tried to limit how potent the paint would look or how potent the paint is by watering it down like a lot and only putting paint where there would be some form of shadowing. Another tough part is like doing those the color of his outfit is a is a weird it's a teal a, a dark tealish color and I sort of understood the color but I wasn't sure how to get it properly. So I started with a really light green base and then put some blue on top and it looked a little, bit, a little bit too blue. So it took several layers of color to get the right, sort of the right color for his outfit. Other than that, most of his outfit is white. So the challenge there would be creating the shadows. So I pretty much put down like a tannish, uh, yellowish tone first to create like that yellowish armor color and then I would try to neutralize the color a bit by adding some blue to the shadow so that it would like balance out and neutralize and look like more grayish than yellow. Also his hair which is like a really patterned and blondish color again was a bit of a challenge. It was fun but I spent a lot of time just like sitting back and thinking how I would do the colors for his outfit and I was a little worried that it might clash in terms of color tone, but thankfully it looked pretty okay, so I can live with this. Thank you.
So, as we are doing the background, if you've played the Camelot chapter or if you've like maybe even just read the wikias for the knights, maybe tell me who your, who your favorite knight is. Um, I think my favorite knight... Oh, that's tough. I like Betty a lot. I like his design and I like his character. Uh, I like male King Arthur, like prototype King Arthur the most, honestly. Um, yeah. So, like, let me know who your favorite knight is, like, maybe design or character wise. Sure, you can include Mordred if you want. Mordred's, Mordred's pretty famous nowadays after the Apocrypha anime. So, there's Mordred. Mordred's pretty cool. I don't mind Mordred that much. Daddy issues. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll be jumping to the preview soon. Like or subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I do a lot of well art traditionally and digitally. I do some fan art, some original art, character designing, pretty much creative stuff. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt for whips and sneak peeks and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you around.